<laughs> oh, hey there, Alex. Welcome back. This is your second day in the OR, right? Yepers. I'm hoping it's way better than the first day. Of course. Let's get started. I want to introduce you to the rest of the team in the OR. So you know who everyone is. Take a look in the room. Gosh, there are a lot of people in there. Does it really take so many people to do an operation? Performing surgery is a team sport, Alex. A lot of people have to do their job right to make an operation succeed. How are you supposed to know who's who? I mean, which one is the surgeon? That's a good question. Let's go over who's who in the room. Okay. Let's start with the operative team. That's the members of the team who are scrubbed in and are doing the actual surgery. First up is the surgeon. It's their job to lead the team. It's the surgeon who decides that an operation is needed in the first place. And they're the one who'll be doing most of the surgery. They're usually standing right beside the part of the patient that's being operated on. The surgeon knows the plan for the whole operation and it's their job to make sure the surgery gets done. That's what I'm training to become, a real surgeon. You can tell who the surgeon is because they're usually the ones using and asking for surgical instruments. The thing is, the surgeon can't get it done alone, which is why they need the rest of the team. Up next is the scrub nurse. You can tell who the nurse is because they are in charge of a large table full of sterile instruments. Often they're on the same side of the patient as the surgeon, so they can stay close to the action. It's their job to make sure the team has all the instruments they need right when they need them. When the surgeon asks for an instrument, it's the script nurse who hands it to them. Next up is the first assistant. This is usually a trainee surgeon who is learning how to do the operation. The first assist usually stands opposite the surgeon. Depending on the type of operation and how far along the resident is in their training, the surgeon may assist them to do a little or a lot of the operation. The assistant's job includes providing traction, operating the suction, tying sutures, working clamps, and cutting tissues when the surgeon asks. Basically, first assistant is second pair of hands to do the surgery. A good assistant always knows the plan for the operation and steps of the surgery. If there is no resident in the room, this may be your job. So stay alert and be ready to assist, Alex. Yes, sir. The last member of the operative team is the second assistant. This will normally be your job, Alex. You'll be a little further away from the action than the first assistant, so you may not have such a good view. It's your job to adjust the lighting and the cameras so the surgeon and the first assistant can see. Sometimes you'll get the retract and cut sutures. I thought I'd just be watching. You mean I have to do stuff? You're a member of the team now, Alex. So that means you have to join in with the work and help us do the surgery. Is that okay? Yes, of course. So that's the team doing the surgery. Who are the other people in the room? Well. There's the circulating nurse and the anesthesiologist. And they're not scrubbed, right? They have hats and masks on, but no gowns or gloves. Yep. They're not part of the operative team, so they don't have to scrub in. The circulating nurse assists the scrub nurse to get extra instruments and equipment that the team needs. They also help the scrub nurse count instruments and deal with specimens, and they communicate with other people outside the OR during the operation. The circulating nurse is the person that you should tell should you start to feel faint during the surgery. Which Thumbs found out on his first day in the OR. Remember? Sir. Sorry, Thumbs. It can happen to the best of us. Is that everyone in the OR? Almost. Just one more person. The anesthesiologist. Usually, they're up by the patient's head. They're a really important part of the team, even though they're not in the operative field. They're the ones who put the patient off to sleep so the surgeon can get started with the operation. And they keep them that way until the surgery is done. Isn't it boring just sitting there during the operation, just watching the patient sleep? 
No way! They're monitoring things right through the operation to make sure our patient is okay. If there's a problem with the blood pressure or pulse during the surgery, they're going to let us know. And at the end of the surgery, the anesthesiologist wakes our patient up again and makes sure their pain is under control. It's a really important job. That's everyone on the team! Thanks a lot. This will help me the next time I shadow. No problem. Remember, when you're going to be in the OR. Number one, prepare for your operation, read up on the procedure, and know your role on the team. Number two, in the operative field, look out for the surgeon, the scrub nurse, and the first and the second assistants. Number three, outside the field, look for the anesthesiologist and the circulating nurse. Number four, the instruments belong to the scrub nurse. And number five, keep your eyes and ears open and try to keep up. You could be asked to assist at any time. Well, that's enough learning for one day. Let's get some coffee.